so hi guys in this video we will be talking about conditional statements so what does conditional statement mean as the name suggests these are some statements that gets executed on the basis of some condition so let's say there is raining outside so basically there is a, a condition like if it is raining you will not go outside right and if it doesn't rain then you can go outside can go outside okay so this is so as you can see here this is a condition which is raining or not so similarly we have conditional statements in c++ like if you need to execute some task on the basis of some conditions then conditional statements can be used for example if else is a conditional statement in c++ so each case is another so these are most commonly used so we will be discussing this one by one so in if else what happens like the syntax for this is like this if some condition so if this condition is true then these lines of code gets executed if this condition is false then these lines of code gets executed it's simple okay so if this condition is correct these lines of code is executed else these lines of code is executed so i hope if else is clear to you all now let's say someone comes to you and tells you like you are given a n and you have to print the day on the basis of value n what i mean to say here like if n is equal to 1 you need to print sunday if n is equal to 2 you need to print monday and so on so if you use if else condition so you can you can write if n equal to equal to 1 see out sunday okay else if like if this condition is not correct then you can go to else if if n equal to equal to 2 you can print monday and so on right i hope this is clear so don't you think this code will look very clarity or very like engaging like we have so many of else if conditions here so in that case what happens switch case solves our purpose okay so like we can use switch case in those cases like the syntax for this is similar what we need to write here is switch then we have the condition variable here and we can write a case like case 1 then we need to do something then we need to add a break statement so that another case is not getting executed then case 2 some execution lines then break statement again so in this way switch case is written why the name switch case because of this keyword switch and case because of different cases like case 1 case 2 like here you can use see out sunday okay if the day number is 1 and if the day number is 2 you can see out basically monday so i hope this is getting clear and if none of these cases is getting executed like in this if else we generally write else at the end if none of the cases ever be correct so here we have something known as default if none of the cases is getting run the default case will definitely run and it is also ended by a break so in this way switch case is written so i hope this is clear and now let's see the code implementation for this so first of all i need to include my header files and all of that now let's say uh 
as discussed let's say i make a boolean variable is running and it will be a bool and let's say i assign a value false to it and now i will check if is running equal to true then i can print not go outside else i can go outside right so let us run this so as i had assigned is running as false so is running equal to equal to true is getting false here so this statement is not getting executed the else condition is getting executed so see out go outside and hence go outside is getting printed here now let's say given a n you have to print what is the weekday so let's say in 10 seen n then you can write if n equal to equal to 1 you can print sunday else if n equal to equal to 2 you can print monday and so on like i can copy paste these lines so you can definitely use this sunday monday tuesday okay and if i give a value like 2 uh, here so monday should appear so we are getting monday so i hope if else is getting clear here but can you see like we have to write a lot of if else if else if else conditions i have not written the code after n equal to 3 because i wanted to show you something else so you can see there are a lot of if else if else so this doesn't look good okay so for that we use switch statements okay basically switch then the condition variable n on which we have to decide then we write case and if the day is 1 like if n is 1 we need to see out sunday and then a break so that other cases are not getting executed then if it is 2 then we can print monday and we can give a break statement here and so on so if i give 2 as an input then you can see monday will appear again if i give 1 as input then you can see sunday will appear right so i hope this is clear so this is also two cases you will ask why it so see these are basically divided into cases and one can definitely see and assure like if the number is 1 here i will be executing the case 1 and sunday will be getting printed but in if else conditions what you need to do you have to check everything one by one and that is not a good way of programming right so for that purpose if you have a hell lot of conditions you can use switch case okay so i hope the conditional statements are clear to you all thanks for watching this video